Good, e good afternoon, everybody. So great to see all of you today. Welcome to our high school spring art show. This is a wonderful event. I'm so glad to share this with all of you. We are not only celebrating all of our art that you see when you walk in the building, but our artists from grades 9 through 12 and all their hard work. And we're also going to be recognizing our seniors. So if you're a senior, we're going to be recognizing you for our seniors. We really are so appreciative that you come through our art program from elementary school all the way through 12th grade. And we all can't wait to see all the art you continue to bring to the world when you leave us at the end of this school year. But before we begin, I'd just like to give a big round of applause for Catalin Wong, our musician tonight. We hope you enjoyed our beautiful music. Um, this has been a wonderful year this year. We're really excited about all the opportunities our students have had, being it from it's going on field trips, going to the museums, learning about various artists and different styles of creating art. We, were, we participated in Long Island Best. We participated in, in the um, All-County Art Show, the Con Art Contest, the Nassau Gardening Association, Nassau Earth Day, really one event after the other that our students have been excelling and achieving high, high accolades from everything they do. And you can see that clearly when you walk down the hall. So again, thank you for coming. But before we begin, I really want to thank our administration, our Board of Education, specifically our high school administration, Mr. Hodge is here today. And And I'd like to invite up Ms. Keegan just for a few words of welcome for everyone. Thank you, Ms. Connell. And yes, on behalf of the high school administration, staff, faculty, I'm very happy to welcome you here for some probably the first time you're in this new auditorium, which is very exciting. It really pops. As do our art classrooms. And the, the year goes on and we get really busy this time of year, but how amazing to have the phenomenal artwork outside when our students and staff weren't in completed art rooms for almost half the year. So kudos to everyone for being able to be flexible and really just you know, rolling their sleeves up and getting the job done. Today is really about our students, but I would be remiss if I didn't speak about the team here to my left and of course led by Ms. Arnold. Our K-12 staff, in fact. How we can walk into a building like this and it's just jaw-dropping to see the talent, to see the output. And really, it's the crossroads. It's an intersection of the support they have at home from those first days when you put crayons in their hands or you let them you know, just explore to these final days where some of them will not continue on into the art field, but will use those innovative thinking and creativity to become our future doctors, lawyers, engineers, therapists, whatever path they so choose. But it really is a wow. And over the course of the last 24 hours, as our staff were putting up the show with help of students, other students in the building were simply standing there in awe. So we are in awe of you students, and we are in awe of you faculty, because you motivate, you inspire, you model, you are simply the best. So thank you, enjoy the show. Okay, I also like to quickly recognize our arts boosters are here tonight. You see them in their nice blue shirts. A lot of support. They have a nice table out in our courtyard. You can join them later for some refreshments, but I'm really appreciative of the parent support from all of you, really just supporting our students through our parent organization. And I'd also like to recognize Henry Zanetti from the Board of Education who's here tonight. With that. The, the next person I would like to invite up, we have a special guest speaker today. We have Julia Lang Shapiro, who's here from Long Beach School District, our director of Fine and Performing Arts. She's a colleague of mine, and I'm so honored to have her here. She is here. She is our adjudicator for our art show today. So she's going to share a few words with you about what she observed, and, and she's going to be selecting our best in show and tell you more about what she observed as she walked through our show today. So welcome, Ms. Lang Shapiro. Thank you, 
you so much. Just share a few words with you before I get into all the fabulous artwork that I had the opportunity to see. The human impulse to create art is universal. Art has been a way to communicate beliefs and express ideas about the human experience throughout all stages of civilization and in every region of the world. As cultural documents, works of art provide important insights into past and existing cultures, helping us to understand how others have lived and what they value. The arts are the voice and memory of all societies. They express perceptions of the past, present existences, events, feelings, ideas, and thoughts about human life, learnings, and beliefs. Art is one of the main resources for broadening our experiences beyond events in our own surroundings. And for all of you here this afternoon, art is in fact your language, your creativity, and your expression of who you are as a person. You will leave behind your mark your artwork documents who you are at this given moment in time. And you create art because you must. As artists, we have to give ourselves over to creative expression to give release to the images and thoughts that are living inside of our heads. But what you bring forth in creating your artwork presents your own unique ideas, feelings, and viewpoints regardless of your background, your talent, your developmental learning differences or interests. And through this expression, you're able to improve your relationship with yourself as you grow in confidence, with others as they share in your creative experience, and with the world around you. World art uni is unifying, it speaks to the world because it's a connective experience. I'd like to thank Ms. Arnold for inviting me here today to experience the art show and to the high school art teachers. The work out there was simply incredible and made my job looking at it very, very difficult um, because I wish I could have picked multiple winners of Best in Show. Um, before I uh, talk about that though, I just want to point out a few, um, a few of the artworks that I found very, very, very impressive. Um, Hands are one of the most difficult things. Hands and feet are one of the most difficult things for artists to uh, draw. So there were two beautiful pieces out there by Serena Chen and uh, Connie Wang that were just beautiful. Alexa Abel had an incredible artwork featuring the Statue of Liberty on it. Enya Chang had a beautiful acrylic portrait. Uh, Natalie Joe's paintings were incredibly impressive. Uh, there were two watercolor paintings by Su Kim and Chang Liu that were incredible, very small, very detailed, very incredible. Catherine Cha and Kathy Chang, I actually picked out pieces of their artwork and then picked out two separate pieces. I didn't realize they were by the same artist, but they were quite lovely. Um, the paintings and the collages. There were two colored pencil portraits by Elliot Shin and Oscar Liu that were incredible. And photo portraits by Chen Yang Shi that I remember from the All County Art Show. And there was a beautiful fashion piece. I love the diversity in all the artwork that was there. There's 2D work, 3D work, um, paintings, drawings, photography work, and the fashion design pieces, particularly the piece by Maria Gamboa and Bella Morales, that scarlet, red inspired handbow piece that's out there is quite gorgeous. So I was thoroughly impressed by all of the work. The piece that I selected for the best in show is by Brianna Khan. Um, it is an incredible painting. Um, painting of a head with three figures inside of it. It was incredibly well done. There was a lot of depth and a lot of detail in it, and it looked just incredibly well done. So congratulations to Brianna. And as Ms. Arnold mentioned, in addition to working at uh, Long Beach as the Director for Media, Visual, and Performing Arts, I'm also President of the Art Supervisors Association. We, um, we put on the All-County Art Show each year. Um, this was our first year that we had it live and in person again, so we were very excited about that. We had 1,300 pieces of artwork on display 
from Nassau County. So we were thrilled that we were able to have this again in person um, and that we had uh, so many people come out and see it. And I brought with me today the leadership award from the Art Supervisors Association that's being presented to uh, Natalie Jo. Thank you again. The show was incredible. I'm so pleased that I was able to be here and see it in person. And congratulations to you all. The work is really, really incredible. Thank you so much for all your inspirational words. It really makes a big difference. We appreciate you coming and being part of our community. We're really proud to have you here. Um, now, really, um, as Ms. Keegan said, this staff, wow, I'm just gonna say wow. I love coming to school every day, seeing these people, and I'm sure you're too. These are some of the most dedicated, hardworking, creative, and true artists that I'm so glad that your, your children have the opportunity to learn from and work together with as a team. So at this time, I want you, to, we're gonna get to know them a little bit better, and they're gonna share with you what kind of projects you're going to see today at our art show? And um, I'm just each each teacher is going to come up and speak with you briefly. But I just want to give a big round of applause for our art staff. And we're going to start with Mr. Brogan, who teaches our media arts program. And I'll hand over to Mr. Brogan. Um. Yeah. Really beautiful auditorium. Some really beautiful supporting staff, obviously. Parents, students. The artwork is incredible. It's really an exciting and sad time at the end of the year, I'll, I'll say for myself. It's exciting because a lot of my seniors are moving on and hopefully learning uh, and emulating some of what they've been with me. Some of them have been with me since ninth grade, which is a great honor. Um, so it's exciting that they're moving on with this next chapter, this next journey, this next step in their lives. Um, and it's also really exciting at the same time that I'm getting new students, ninth graders, maybe even 10th and 11th graders that for some reason haven't taken me before until this year, many ninth, 10th and 11th graders, they're going to keep coming back. Many 10th and 11th have already, so it's really great. It, it's a lot of fun. Um, I teach television production and filmmaking, and for those of you that aren't aware, we have a real working television studio here at the high school right across from the library hallway. We have channels on traditional television, which I know is almost a dinosaur at this point. Fios, it's channel 47. Altice backslash Cablevision, channel 75. However, Altice is a very small broadcast range. Only if you live in the town of New York Hills, you can see that signal. So what I did a couple of years ago, and we run and maintain it every year with my students, we have a YouTube channel that we started, HTN Network on YouTube. There you're gonna see Concerts. There you're going to see special events. There you're going to see PSAs, commercials, independent films. Everything, not only that my classes and students generate, but other really exciting, wonderful events that go on right here in the high school as well. Um, in addition to that, two years ago, we made a channel for the music department, which, by the way, on HTN Network, on YouTube, at the bottom of the first page, you'll see two links. One goes to Herrick's Music Media on YouTube, which is dedicated just to the music channel. The other one that I just created this year, and again, I don't mean that I'm creating and running these channels. I may create some of the uh, graphics and set up the channel itself, but that's it. All the programming for this channel and the other two channels 
is all provided by my students every year. So they really go out of their way to make me look like I know what I'm doing. I've got to be honest. So the last channel is the uh, Herrick's Athletics Channel, which I just started this year. And if you haven't gone and looked at it, you really should. A, a ton of sporting events. My students, for the record, we film over 200 hours of programming every year. That's a lot considering the school calendar, you know? So, in addition, look at that. Right behind us, if you take a look, take a quick wave, guys. Thank you. Julian Sullivan and George Clark. They are my new club presidents for next year. So every year I am blessed and cursed, like I said. Blessed that my seniors are moving on. Cursed because I'm always training the new person to take their place. So these are currently now activated as my club presidents. They're filming this event. They also filmed all of the artwork that you're going to see. So if you haven't had the time to look at it, or somebody's homesick, or somebody's out of town, all you have to do, probably by the end of this week, once I finish editing everything up, maybe the beginning of next week, the latest, I'll send out the link, and I'm sure it'll be forwarded to you when, it, when everything's reviewed and ready. Um, you'll be able to see not only this ceremony tonight, but you'll be able to see all of the artwork that's in, on display in this show. So I would like, Quickly, just to give a round of applause, not only to my new presidents, but to every one of my students that has helped me program, film, and run all of these channels, this HTN Herrick's Television Network. Let's give it up quickly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So. First thing we want to do is we want to give out some awards to non-seniors, underclassmen. It's a really great idea. Uh, before we do that, though, there is somebody that couldn't make it here tonight. Um, earlier this year, we lost a very special student in the TV studio, um, Stephen DiBiase. A light that still shines in the TV studio here tonight, this afternoon, in this beautiful auditorium will never be forgotten. We love him, we miss him, and really quick, if I could just ask for just a moment of silence in his honor, thank you so much. And that goes for his mother, Louisa, also. Please. Thank you. Okay. The first of the classmen of what I want to give out, as I said, it's very exciting when I get new students and when I get ninth graders. It's like in September, I stick my fishing net out in the ocean, I reel it in, and we see what we got, what works out, what should go back in the ocean, what, would, what should stay. This student, we didn't put him back in the ocean. He has been positive, hardworking. Any minor setback or major setback he may have faced with us in the TV studio, he picked himself right up, dusted himself off, and moved forward. And I'm very honored and proud of this kid, not to mention He's an officer in my club now, and I just see him moving up the ranks very, very quickly next year. Ryder Cantonis, ninth grader, come on. Somebody who I had last year, I, 
I don't know why I'm blessed. He came back to me for the whole year. He's wonderful. Always positive. Happy. I have no idea what this kid eats for breakfast. It's incredible. Again, another person who didn't even realize and probably still doesn't. What an amazing, responsible, resourceful, easy to work with person he is. Also a club officer, Tommy Ma. We call him the Infinite One. Come on up, Infinite. interesting he is, another just really positive, wonderful person. He usually always comes in before first period a few times a week just to ask how I'm doing. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Incredible. An amazing musician. We both love a lot of the same classical composers. In the TV studio, he is a technician. So he really does a lot of the post-production editing, special effects, very, very talented. Jalen Mann. level studio art teacher. I teach all the entry level, level art courses. So this student, she shows maturity, consistency in her work. She shows interest by attending the Herrick's art information sessions. In her spare time, she works out ideas for her artwork. In the classroom, she demonstrates passion for the subject, patience with her work and her peers, and has amazing leadership skills. She is a highly motivated student with such an amazing, good-natured heart. She brings a very calm demeanor to class. When I'm going a little bit crazy, she calms me down and just look at her face. And she makes the work that she creates look so effortless. Aileen, Eileen Grew. student is a naturally talented artist. She does not truly recognize at all how talented she is. She remains humble in front of her peers and always helps her classmates when they are struggling, even with hot glue guns. An example of her amazing heart, in her free time, she offers a helping hand in the art room. 
even during my crazy studio art periods. Her, my favorite tree of Mal, I'm not gonna mention her name yet, is her hilarious personality. She brings joy, laughs, and this amazing humor to class. Any challenges given, she excels at mastery level. She continues to pursue her talents next year in drawing and painting too. Congratulations, Malvina. student, um, I chose her because she overcomes every obstacle. When she's faced with an art challenge, she never gives up, and she really tries to be the best. She improves her art skills in certain areas um, that she's lacking in by staying after class. She truly, truly cares about her work and the direction in which her work is going. She is conscientious about her work and hardworking and she devotes countless hours to her work. Not positive if you're here tonight, but Erica Yoon. <laughs> this is Ms. Cavaluzzo. So I have been very fortunate this year. Uh, I was able to teach studio art, drawing and painting one, drawing and painting two, and AP art as well as sculpture. The greatest part about that is watching students in ninth grade with studio art class and then how they grow into my 10th grade drawing and painting one and then juniors in drawing and painting two and then finally my AP students. My AP class this year was amazing. They drove me a little bit crazy this last week right before the APs, but an amazing group of students who work together. Their ideas are amazing and I got to watch them grow for so many years and I'm really, really, truly gonna miss them and appreciate all the hard work that they put in this year. Um, my award that I'm going to give, first, uh, the freshman award that I want to give is actually to a sculpture student. Sculpture is something that I happen to love myself. I love the fact that this student has to figure out, problem solve, anything I give him, any material, he's got it. He can work with paper, he can make work with paper mache, um, cardboard, no matter what it is, play, he's on it. Um, and I really appreciate how he comes in with this enthusiasm. He had a flamingo that was not standing up and he would not give up on that flamingo. And this award goes to Alexander Helgeson. She doesn't stop. 
And I cannot wait to see what she does at AP with me. This award goes to Gabriella Cardona. She knows how to get it with her technical skills. It's 
always helpful. We had a crazy year with no art rooms and everything was all crazy. Uh, every roll box is always healthy. I just truly, truly can't thank her enough for keeping me grounded. Because anyone that keep, knows me, I'm a little crazy sometimes. But I want to congratulate Ms. Violet for Ms. Rick. studio art, a ninth grader, then she went into advertising, not so much her thing with computers, then fashion, fashion one, then fashion two. Uh, just incredible person, just always helpful, always asking what Ms. Broken said, how are you, Ms. Z? How is your day? Uh, can I help you with anything? What could she do to make the class better? And not to mention the beautiful fashion she created outside of the courtyard. Two pieces, uh, just the yellow, it's the yellow piece with all like the diamonds on it, and as well as the green sari. So my, um, I, what do I say about her? If not, just I'm just touched. Suman Belina. recognize a couple of quick people. First up, Julia Lang Shapiro, I want to thank you, our appreciation for being our adjudicator today. We really appreciate your insight and feedback. Our thank you so much for coming the long way from Long Beach, all the way up north. And I also, I don't have a certificate, but I'd really like to thank Allison Zabrowski, for all of her support as our lead art teacher the past two years. She has been a great sounding board, great idea sharer, and all of us as a team have been able to really achieve great things in the art program, and I really appreciate Allison for all of her support through the last two years. It means a lot to all of us, so thank you. listening to our teachers speaking, I noticed a trend, and the trend really is the passion and care that they all have for our artists here. And also, I heard a lot about, I can't wait till next year, it's AP Art, all the things and all the things that are coming for you that our seniors have been achieving. And it's so great to see that you, you have continued in our art program from ninth grade, or from kindergarten really, through 12th grade and really honed in on your craft. And when you look through our show in just a few minutes, you're gonna see professional level art here at Herrick's High School. Um, it's unbelievable what all of you do every day. And
and how much not only do you learn that we learn from you. I know I personally have learned so much about art this year that I have just learned from all the students and from the teachers. So um, I'm really proud of our seniors. I really hope my wish for you is that no matter where you go and what you do, that you keep creating, whether it's art, whether it's music, whether it's theater, whether it's media, whether anything you do, be creative and share everything that you can create with everyone you can. Share it with the world and keep making the world a beautiful place. You really do that for me every day when I look out my office door and I see all the beauty. Keep sharing it no matter where you go. And we're all here for you. You're always welcome to come back and, and communicate with us and let us know what you're doing because we love you guys and can't wait to see what you bring to the future. So thank you to all our seniors. Congratulations here for our seniors. We would like to call each of our seniors up to the front because we have a really beautiful plaque for you to take with you to college and hang on your dorm room wall. Which, I used to do that, by the way, I'm just saying. <laughs> but please take it with you with pride that of all that you learned here at Harris High School and share it with all your new friends in places near and far. So our teachers are going to come up and introduce all of our seniors. When your name is called, please come up and stand over here um, until the end. And then we're going to take a group photo of all of our art seniors, OK? So I'm going to start with Mr. Brogan. Out of the goodness of her heart, Ms. Alexis Camisa is going to read my name to me. I'm recovering from some bronchitis, and it's kind of the end of the day. I have a throat lozenge right now, so please forgive me. Alexa Abel. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for our senior art students. So I would just like to introduce Angela Juan and Blessing Ju to come up and quickly present our final award. So thank you for coming and we represent Harris Art Sisters. We're a 501c3 um, non-for-profit organization and um, we support um, the arts department in the district and we're so happy to present this year's scholarship, senior scholarship. Um, also, I just want to say how proud of all of the artists, uh, all of the seniors who have applied for the scholarship. We had one last year and it was such a tough decision because all of you are so accomplished and so you should be very proud of your Thank you very much for your support of the art teachers. And we'd like to announce our scholarship recipient, and it is Natalie Zell. We know Natalie's not here, but we're going to ask her teacher, Ms. Cavaluzzo, to please accept the award on her behalf. Enjoy the beautiful art you will see down this way to what we have outside. There's some refreshments. And down this hall to my left, enjoy the artwork. Have a wonderful day. And we'll